This is VOA News. The uh, remote, I'm Marissa Melton. The White House COVID-19 response team reported on Tuesday there's been considerable progress in the past month in getting vaccinations into the nation's least vaccinated populations. During a briefing, White House COVID response team coordinator Jeff Zients told reporters More than 6 million vaccinations were delivered in the past week. That's the highest number of total vaccinations since the beginning of July. He said three of the last seven days had rates of more than a million vaccinations per day. It's the first time that has happened since June. Zients said the greatest increases in vaccinations have come in states where they've been lagging. Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana and Mississippi administered more initial vaccinations in July than in the previous two months combined. At the same briefing, however, U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Rochelle Walensky said there's still a long way to go. She reported new COVID cases continue to increase in the past week. They rose by 12 percent to 137,000 per day. COVID deaths rose to 739 per day. That's an increase of 23 percent from the previous week. U.S. President Joe Biden said Tuesday the United States is on pace to complete evacuation operations from Afghanistan by the August 31st deadline. In televised comments from the White House, Biden said the U.S. has now evacuated more than 70,000 U.S. citizens and Afghans from Afghanistan since August 14th. He said 12,000 of those were moved out on Tuesday alone. Biden said he discussed the evacuation efforts on Tuesday with leaders from the G7 allies, a group of the world's largest economies. From Washington, you're listening to VOA News. Russian President Vladimir Putin said Tuesday that Russia would not deploy its armed forces to Afghanistan to, in his words, interfere in Afghanistan's domestic affairs. He said Moscow had learned the lessons of the Soviet Union's failed intervention there. Soviet forces invaded Afghanistan in 1979 under the pretext of upholding a treaty with the Afghan government. But they were unable to defeat Islamic resistance fighters and the Soviet government withdrew its troops 10 years later. Minutes of a high-level meeting in Brazil indicate that Brazil's state governors are concerned about military police turning out in support of President Jair Bolsonaro in an upcoming march, as the far-right former army captain continues to sow doubt about next year's presidential election. Active-duty military police are prohibited from making political demonstrations, but many are expected to show up at September 7th marches to be held in support of Bolsonaro. Of Brazil's 27 state governors, 25 at Monday's meeting signed the minutes expressing concern about the high level of support for the president among the country's roughly half a million military police. Brazil is in the midst of a political crisis as Bolsonaro picks fights with the Supreme Court and federal election authorities. He's also questioned the credibility of the country's elections. Bolsonaro's trailing former leftist president uh, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva in most opinion polls Critics say he hopes to marshal the support of the military military police ahead of next year's election. There is growing concern in Brazil about what role the armed forces and state police could play if Bolsonaro were to reject the election results. Reuters is reporting that former Mexican drug cartel leader Eduardo Ariano Felix was handed over by the United States to Mexico on Monday to face criminal charges, including organized crime after serving time in a U.S. federal prison in Pennsylvania. The Mexican Army and the Attorney General's Office, known as the FGR, accepted the Mexican drug uh, ring leader at a border crossing near Brownsville, Texas, and transferred him to a maximum security prison in Mexico. And Algeria cut diplomatic relations with Morocco on Tuesday, citing what it called hostile actions. Speaking at a news conference in Algiers, the Algerian foreign minister accused Morocco of using Pegasus spyware against its officials. He also said Morocco had supported a separatist group and failed in its bilateral commitments. Morocco's foreign ministry said in a statement that it regretted what it called an unjustified decision and would remain a credible and loyal partner to the Algerian people. The Air Remote, I'm Marissa Melton, VOA News.